Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is the first video I have for my new series that is called Throwback Throwdown where I try out old products and let you guys know what I think. Like, do I still love it? Do I think it's still amazing? Um, yes, my lip is still bruised. Filming a lot of videos this weekend. So I asked you guys what you wanted me to do a throwback throwdown on. You guys have sent me so many things and <laughs> I cannot wait to get back into it. The first one was supposed to be the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but I went to Sephora yesterday and got a lot of stuff. And I figured I would just go ahead and do one on this Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. And I actually have the video right here. It has quite a bit of views. It has 920. It has a 920,000 views, so yeah, we're just gonna, I'm gonna see what I said about it first, and then we're gonna go into it, so let's see. This video is going to be a first impression on this foundation. It's the Why am I talking? I hate watching old videos, like. <sighs> lock it tattoo foundation, and a lot of you have been requesting this, so I figured I would go ahead and get this up for you guys. I would put way too much on the back of my hand. Way too much. Dang, you see that? Yeah, you wow. put too much on, girl. Because a little bit of this stuff goes a very long way. Noted. This is a bed. You saw how quick it was just to get my whole face covered. Like, I, I put way too much on the back of my hand. Way too okay, much. Okay, how many times are you going to say that? I think the coverage is just fan-freaking-tastic. So it is now 8.53, and I'll come back in just a few hours and finish up this video for you guys. Hi, guys. So you look the exact same. First off, I want to say I do like the foundation a lot. Um, it holds up really well. It doesn't get splotchy throughout the day, which I love. So to run through all the claims it has for the full coverage part, it is very full coverage. 24-hour wear. I wouldn't be surprised if it was 24-hour wear because I've worn it for a while and it hasn't broken up. The longevity of it is pretty amazing. Bottom line, I really liked it and I said that it stayed matte for three hours. So we're going to see how it wears today. This color might be a little too dark on me because honestly, I wasn't planning on using this right away. I was going to self-tan and everything before I tried this out. But we're just going to hopefully make it work. It's the shade medium 54. The way I used to apply it is with a beauty blender. So that's the way we're going to do it today. This might not be bad. I mean, it might be a little dark. We'll see. All right. So I just wet my L'Oreal sponge. It's my favorite. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on the back of my hand and we're just, we're just going to wing it. This actually might be a good color for me right now. Again, this is the shade medium 54. It's literally the exact same. Has not changed over the years. I don't know if she's changed the formula over the years. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to prime. Hold on. Now I'm going to take my sponge. I'm going to take a light amount <laughs> and put this on. Look at that. Looking good. Color is not bad. It's actually a little light. It's surprising. It is super full coverage. They're not lying when they say this is very full coverage. I take better care of my skin than I used to, so we're gonna see if it'll still keep me matte for a long period of time, a little bit longer than three hours. I've not used this foundation, you guys, in so long, so I'm actually really excited to see how it wears throughout the day. Same with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. If you've been watching me for a very long time, you know that was like my thing for the longest time. I could not get away from it. I cannot wait to try that one out for you guys again. Cause it's been so long. You know, we just get distracted by new things on the market and just kind of forget where your true love was. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish the rest of my face makeup. I'm gonna put my concealers on. I'm gonna put on my regular concealers, which is the Tarte Shape Tape and then the Smashbox 24 Hour Concealer. And then I'm gonna come back after I have my full face done, show you guys the time. We're gonna do some updates throughout the day and then I'm gonna give you my final review at the end. But so far, I'm really liking it. I think it does look really good right now and I'm pretty excited about it. Stay tuned, I will be back in just a moment when I have my full face done and we will start checking in throughout the day. So. Okay guys, so I have the rest of my face makeup on. I'm feeling very glam and full coverage. I really like it so far. I am matte, girl. I am matte. Um, I think I have like a breakout coming through right here. I don't know. But honestly, I think it looks really good. I don't have any highlighter on right now because I'm about to film my collab video and I want to demonstrate the highlighter in that video. But yeah, everything went on really well. Very, very full coverage. So we'll see how it lasts throughout the day. It is currently 1246 right now. So like I said, I will give you guys an update later on and I'll have highlighter on by then. So my full glam will be complete when I have my highlighter on. So I will see you guys in just a few hours. Hey guys, so for once I'm doing an update at the grocery store. It's looking, I think, okay. I mean, obviously you can see some texture I'm having right now. I don't think it looks terrible. I do think it looks a little, like, 
dull on my skin. I've been filming all day today. It's about 6 o'clock now, or it's 6.02 exactly. I don't know how long that's been since I've had this on, but I'm thinking for a while now. I wore my sunglasses a little bit before this, and I don't have any sunglass marks, which is really nice. So that's how you know it's full coverage and it's just like stuck on my face. And I will see you guys in just a few hours. Okay guys, so it's officially, <coughs> past my bedtime. <laughs> it's officially the end of the night. It is 11.47 as you can see. And I'm exhausted. I'm so ready to take this makeup off. After I did a little powder session earlier when I updated you guys, I did blot once but I haven't reapplied powder. It is a very full coverage foundation but it's not heavy and like gross feeling on the skin in my opinion. I think it feels fine. What I will say though is like used to, I would wear this kind of foundation like day to day and you know, I don't know. That's just, that was just my preference. I would love a completely full coverage foundation all the time. Something that, you know, is just really intense. But now I would either wear no foundation or I would wear my Sonia Kashuk one because my Sonia Kashuk one has a little bit more life to it. This one is definitely more of a super matte, like stay in place kind of foundation and when your oils come through you definitely do need a blot because it looks a little off it doesn't look like you're glowy or anything it just looks straight up oily still liking the Kat Von D lock it tattoo foundation I'm happy this was a positive review because I just did that $120 foundation review I think it was yesterday and it was awful it was just awful so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this series don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you remember me loving a product back in the day raving about it definitely let me know down below if you want me to try something new out what is on your mind because I need to go back and look at my videos but you guys are quick you guys remember so well <laughs> so if there's anything in particular you want to see let me know in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you all in my next video.